Hi everyone, welcome to our January yoga session. I hope you guys all had a relaxing break. Uh, I know I did, my, my Christmas and holidays were absolutely fantastically perfect. Um, I hope you guys had partied and uh, holidayed responsibly. Uh, welcome back uh, to a new semester. I know it's quite daunting to throw yourself right back into the swing of things. Uh, but again, this is what our yoga sessions are here for is to kind of uh, meditate, recalibrate ourselves and, and regroup uh, at least once uh, once a month. So uh, again, thank you, Alex, for coming here and being here to facilitate that for us. So I will let you have the floor. Thank you for being here. Welcome back, everyone. As you can see, I'm teaching from my home today, and I still have some of my New Year's decorations up. I thought I'd keep them up for class today since this is our first class back together. Our intention today, that I'm going to suggest at least, is clarity and recentering. So as we move throughout the class, try to weave slow, rhythmic, mindful breathing through every pose that we do. And anytime you find a thought come into your mind, notice it and then give it permission to just move on and bring yourself back to what we're doing on our mats. And then at the end of the class in our final meditation, if you find some other thoughts popping into your mind, you might find that they're there with a little bit more clarity uh, and maybe a little bit less intensity in the emotions that surround those things. To start class this morning, you can go ahead and come down onto your mat come onto your back, legs and arms out, nice and wide, palms face up towards the ceiling. Now once you're here, just take your first breath right into your chest. And as you exhale, allow your shoulders to soften down to the floor. Feel your collarbones widen. And we'll do that again. Big breath into your chest, filling up your heart. Exhale, soften, letting that intention of clarity and recentering fill your whole body. Next breath, send it a little deeper, fill your chest and fill your belly. Exhale, squeeze your belly in, empty your lungs all the way. And again, breathing in, fill up your chest, fill up your belly. Exhale, squeeze your belly in, empty your chest, empty the lungs all the way. Two more breaths, just like that. Inhale, fill chest, fill belly. Exhale, completely. One more big breath in and out. Take a moment of gratitude for yourself, for showing up, for being patient. And we'll take a moment of gratitude for everyone else who's here today with us. Me, that includes my little cat who is doing yoga with us. And on your next breath in, raise your arms overhead, draw your feet together, still lying flat on your back. Take a full body stretch, just like you're waking up first thing in the morning, which you might actually be doing. And as you exhale, just soften, staying in the same position. And we'll do that again. Big breath in, reach through your fingers and your toes. Exhale, soften. And last one, inhale to reach, roll out your wrists, roll out your ankles. Exhale, change directions. And one last big breath in, reaching a little bit more. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins, lying on your back, give yourself a big squeeze. And as you exhale, fold up into an even smaller little ball. Take another full breath here and you might start to rock side to side on your back. And 
And as we breathe here, just start to get comfortable with the feeling of compression through your belly. And don't let that act as a barrier to breathing fully. It might feel a little bit weird or a little bit sticky, but that's okay. Continue with your deep breath. And if you're rocking side to side, start to come back to neutral and then start to rock forward and back along the length of your spine, towards your shoulders and then up to your tailbone. And eventually, rolling up to your tailbone, balancing here, reaching your arms forward. And just turning your palms up a little bit. You can keep your knees bent or you can start to straighten your legs. We're just gonna stay for five breaths, focusing on nice long breaths in and out through your nose, building a little bit of heat through the core, centering our energy right behind your belly button. Two more breaths, bend your knees if you need to. Beautiful, hug your knees into your chest, plant your feet on the floor, reach your arms high, and then wrap your arms around your knees, bring your forehead towards them. And we'll just take three breaths here, centering, keeping your attention right at the tip of your nose, continuing to get comfortable with our belly fully expanding. Squeezing in on the exhale. Okay, take a big breath in, lift your head up, straighten your left leg right out in front of you, keep your right knee bent. And then just make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. And as you breathe in, reach your arms high. And we're gonna twist to the right. Your left arm will wrap around your knee, or it might hook your elbow. Press out of your left heel and really hug your right knee in towards your chest. Breathe here. Think about finding more length through your spine as you breathe in. And as you exhale, look over your shoulder a little bit more, twisting to the right. And just let your fingertips gently rest on the floor. Continuing to breathe and to twist. And as we breathe in each pose today, take a moment to reflect on how it really feels. Notice if there are places that are requiring more effort or places that feel weak. Next inhale, bring your gaze back to center, straighten your right leg, bend your left, and place your foot on the inside of your right thigh, sitting up nice and tall, reach your arms to the ceiling. And then twist to the left, right arm wrapping around your knee, right heel presses away, and left fingertips just gently rest on the floor behind your tailbone. Inhale, grow a little taller. Exhale, squeeze your belly in, hug your knee to your chest, look over your left shoulder. And settle into that slow rhythmic breathing. awareness through your whole body. Asking yourself, where can I soften a little bit more? What spaces need me to take a deeper breath? And then respond accordingly. Inhale, 
exhale, unravel, come back to center, straighten both legs, reach your arms high and press out of your heels. And then as you exhale, start to fold forward, reaching through your fingertips, stay here for a full breath. And out. Inhale, reach a little bit more. Exhale, round your spine, let your head be heavy. This might not feel like much, or it might be quite intense through the back of your neck, your hips. You can feel it anywhere along the back side of your body. Try to allow your shoulders to be really heavy. And your head to really relax the muscles at the back of the neck. Continuing to breathe. Becoming aware of what's happening in your body from side to side. And next inhale, slowly rolling back up to seated. Bring your knees in towards your chest, cross your ankles, and then come forward onto hands and knees. I'm just gonna turn so you can see me. Can my spine move. Spread your fingers wide, right underneath your shoulders. Knees about hip distance apart. And then take a big breath in, drop your belly, lift your chin. Exhale, round your spine, press your shoulder blades apart, chin to chest. Inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Inhale, drop belly, look up. Exhale, round spine, chin to chest. Inhale, drop belly, look up. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Inhale, come back to a flat spine. Draw your belly up and in. And as you exhale, arch your spine to the right, looking straight down at the floor. And take a big breath into your left rib cage. You'll feel like a little crunch through your right side. Perfect. Inhale, back to center, nice long spine. Exhale, fold to the left, breathe into your right rib cage. Exhale, stay here. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, arch to the right. Inhale, breathe into left side. Exhale, stay. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, arch to the left. Inhale, right rib cage. Exhale, stay. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, press back, child's pose. Your arms come straight out in front of you. Hips come down towards your heels. If your forehead can rest on the floor, go ahead. And if not, that's okay too. And take a few deep breaths into the back of your body. Last one here. Empty your lungs. Squeeze your belly in. Inhale, come back up to hands and knees. Press down through your left hand. Reach your right fingers up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, bring your right arm down behind your left. Come to rest on your shoulder, right ear to the floor. You can see me from the side now. I'm gonna turn, give another, another view here. Staying here for a few breaths. 
take a little bit of weight out of your shoulder and your neck. You can think about bringing your weight back into your knees by tilting your tailbone up just a little bit. And breathe here. Down through your left hand. Inhale, reach your right fingers up. Exhale, bring your right hand down to the mat. Move your hips side to side. Find a neutral spine. And then we'll switch to the other side. As you breathe in, reach your left fingers up. And then as you exhale, leave your left arm behind your right. Come down to your shoulder, your left ear. Breathing here. Drawing your weight back into your knees a little bit more. Two more breaths. down through your right hand. Inhale, reach your left fingers up. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Move your hips side to side. Take your knees nice and wide and then come back into child's pose again. So your hips come back towards your heels. Your arms are straight out in front of you. And as we breathe here this time, we'll make it a little bit more active. So spread your fingers nice and wide. As you inhale, send it into your back. And as you exhale, press your hands into the floor, straighten your arms, feel your hips come back as you lengthen your spine. We'll do that again. Big inhale into your back. Exhale, press through your hands, lengthen your spine. Once more. Beautiful. Inhale, come back up through hands and knees. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, come into downward dog. An inverted V shape. Take five breaths here. You can do what's called walking the dog. So you bend one knee, straighten the other leg, and then switch. Stretching out through the bottoms of your feet. And then when you're ready, start to walk your feet up towards the center of your mat. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. Step your feet about hip distance apart and then hold on to either elbow. And gently sway side to side. Or you might just stay still. I'll turn again, just in case you need a different view of this pose. And as we breathe, think about pressing down through your big toes. Even if that brings a little bit of a bend into your knees, that's okay. We're often so scared of falling down that we keep our weight in our heels, which keeps a little bit of a rounding in our lower back. And eventually that affects our balance. So while we're here, we press into the fronts of the feet let our chest come forward, our head hang heavier. We lengthen through the spine, which gives us better posture and ultimately better balance. Who doesn't want better balance? Two more breaths here. Release your hands down to the floor. Slowly roll up to standing, one vertebra at a time. Circle your arms up overhead. And then exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. And then down to your sides. I'm gonna come into a breathing exercise or pranayama. Inhale to circle your arms up. 
as you exhale, press your hands down to your heart, interlace your fingers, press them all the way to the floor. Breathing in through the nose, circle your arms forward, reach up. Exhale through your mouth, ha. Inhale, circle forward, look up. Exhale through your mouth, H A HA. Inhale, strong legs. Exhale, HA. Inhale. Exhale, Inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, bring your hands to your hips, Put all of your weight in your left foot, bend your right knee. From here, turn your knee out to the side for tree pose. You can place your right foot on your ankle with your toes touching the floor. This will help with balance. Or you could bring your foot up to your calf. So the arch of your foot is on your calf muscle. Or you might lift your foot all the way up to your inner thigh, just above your knee. It's up to you, as long as it's not on your knee. And then when you're ready, bring your hands together at your heart. And just softly fix your gaze on something that's not moving. So if you have me up on a screen, maybe just look at the wall behind the screen or the edge of your phone. And as we breathe, think about sliding your shoulder blades down your back a little bit more and then pressing your hands together and your foot into your standing leg and vice versa. Centering your mind, centering your gaze. And if you find yourself moving a little bit, know that that's totally normal. Being centered and grounded doesn't necessarily mean staying still. This means keeping your balance, Letting yourself be swayed, but not completely moved. If you'd like to reach your arms up or out, go ahead now. Just like branches of your tree. Two more breaths here. And bring your hand back down through your heart, so onto your hips. Turn your right knee forward, step your feet together. You can walk it out and then shift your weight into your right foot. Turn your left knee out to the side and setting up with your foot either on your ankle, tips of the toes on the floor, calf or thigh. Beautiful hands come together at your heart. And just think about tucking your chin in a little bit and lifting your chest up. Really nice. See if you can soften all of the muscles in your face. Maybe turn the corners of your mouth up the tiniest bit. And then as we breathe here, imagine roots growing down out of your foot, deep and wide. Feel that strength, that grounding. When you're ready, you can grow your branches up, out, you do this, feel your energy take up more space in the room too. And 
continue to breathe here. Really reach through your fingertips. Take our last breath here. And bring your hands back down through your heart to your hips. Turn your left knee forward. Step it out. Come into another balancing pose. Step your left foot forward. And then start to tilt your weight forward. Float your right toes up. So you're coming towards a capital T shape. I'll turn. And just like this. You can stay just partially folded or you could come all the way to a capital T. Arms can reach back behind you or they might reach forward. Imagine that you have one long line from the tip of your right toes all the way out through your fingers. And wherever you're folded to, try to keep the back of your neck nice and long. Really reach through your fingers, extend through your right leg. Using your breath to contain that energy, contain your focus. And slowly rise back up, step your feet together. And then take a little step forward with your right foot. It's transitioning. Have your hands on your hips to get balanced, or you can reach them forward or back. I'm just gonna turn so I can see everyone on the camera. Toppling tree. Beautiful, really nice. If you feel like your left hip is hiking up a little bit, try to use your hands on your hips to keep your hips square. Nice. Arms reaching back or forward. Standing through your left foot, right fingers, left fingers, nice long spine. Keep breathing. Really good, rise back up, bring your arms to your sides. Beautiful, we're gonna come through one flow. We'll come forward. Inhale, circle your arms up, reach high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Fingertips come to your shins, nice long back. And then from here, bend your knees, plant your hands, step back to a high plank. Full breath here. Take another inhale and drop your knees lower down to the mat. Inhale, peel your chest up, squeeze your elbows in, baby cobra. Exhale, press up through hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. Breathe here, five breaths. Walk your feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, circle your arms high. Exhale, mountain pose, arms to your side. Perfect, we're gonna come through a warrior series. So bring your hands to your hips. Step your right leg back about four feet. And then bring your right heel up over the ball of your foot. And stack your left knee over your ankle. From here, reach your arms back. Just like in toppling tree, we're in runner's lunge. Nice long spine. Take three deep breaths. That's one. 
two, and three. Inhale, bring your arms forward, come into a high lunge. Breathe here, lunge into your left heel a little bit more. Great job, one more breath. Inhale, drop your right heel, open your arms to the right. So your left toes are facing straight in front of you. Your right toes are facing the side of the room. Lunge into your left heel, breathe here, warrior two. If it feels like your front knee is passing your ankle, try to make your stance a little bit longer. Or if your knee is really behind, you should maybe shorten your stance a bit. When you stack the joints, it just makes it a little bit more restful in the pose. So you can focus on your intention, not on your muscles shaking. One more big breath. Inhale, flip your left hand to face the ceiling. Exhale, reach it back. Bring your right fingertips to your right shin. Breathe here. And rise back up, warrior two. Inhale, straighten both legs. Bring your hands to your hips. Turn your left toes in. So both feet face the same direction. And then fold to a flat back, wide-legged forward fold. You can take your feet closer together or wider apart, whichever works for you. And then we'll just stay here for a couple of breaths before we fold more. And think about that same thing, really pressing down through your big toes, getting comfortable, bringing a little bit more weight into the front of your feet. One more breath all together. And release your hands to the floor. Allow your spine to round. Head is heavy. Find a flat back, lift your head, bring your fingertips underneath your shoulders, and start to heel toe your feet towards one another. And slowly roll all the way up to stand. Come to the top of your mat, and we'll come through the series on the other side. Hands on your hips. Step your left foot back four to five feet, stacking your right knee over your ankle and reaching your arms back. Runner's lunge, breathe here. Inhale, sweep your arms forward, high lunge. And drop your left heel, open up to the left, warrior two. Lunge into your right heel, maybe lengthen your stance. And soften your shoulders away from your ears. Reach through your fingers and breathe. Remind yourself of your intention, recentering, keeping your focus, your breath, your energy, all within the four corners of your mat. Inhale, flip your right palm up. Exhale, dance it back. Breathe here. Inhale, 
Inhale, rise back up, warrior two. Exhale to lunge. And straighten your right leg, hands to your hips. Turn your right toes in. Wide-legged forward fold. Come to the flat back first. Three breaths here. Maybe a little bend in your knees. And let your spine round. Option to hang on to either elbow, maybe hold on to your ankles. your hands to the floor, start to heel toe your feet towards one another, and then slowly roll all the way up to standing, roll your shoulders back, hands face forward, mountain pose, take one more standing pose, take a big breath in, reach your left hand up, and turn your right hand out to the side, just like you're holding a serving platter. Press down through your left foot, and then curl your right heel in. From here, you can stay just curling your heel in with your foot flex, working on balance, or you can reach for your right foot, and if you can catch your foot or your ankle, you can start to gently kick into your hand. If you're taking this version, make sure you're reaching through your left fingers and kicking into your right hand with equal effort. Looking straight ahead for balance. Either kicking or squeezing a little bit more. And inhale, rise back up, step your feet together. Mountain pose, full breath here. Inhale, bring your right arm up to the ceiling, left arm out to the side. Curl your left heel in, and either staying just like this or reaching for your foot, kicking into your hand, reaching through your fingers. Beautiful, dancer's pose. The more you kick, the more you reach, the easier it will be to balance. Looking straight ahead, that's something that's not moving, just like we did in tree. And slowly rise back up, step your feet together. We'll take one flow to come down to the floor. If you'd prefer to just come down another way, that's okay. Inhale, arms circle up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. High plank. Step back. Hold a breath here. And lower down to the floor. Bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. Point your toes. Inhale, peel your chest up. Baby cobra. Exhale, press back, tuck toes, lift hips, downward dog. Breathe here. Bring your knees down to the floor. From here, slide your right knee up towards your wrist, and then start to walk your shin across your body, just to wherever it naturally stops. And then walk your left leg back. So we're coming into pigeon pose. Find a nice long spine. That looks really great. And you can stay upright, or you can start to fold forward down to your forearms. Now 
Now, whatever version you choose, you can take your first few breaths and exhale through your mouth if this feels really intense. Using your breath to really become aware of what's happening in your unique body. like to settle into it a little bit more you can press the top of your left foot into the floor lift your left knee up and then resettle your hips Next inhale, lift your head, start to press your arms to straight, lift your chest. Tuck your left toes, walk your left knee in, slide your right knee back. And from here, bring your left knee up towards your wrist, your shin across your body, and then walk the right leg back. Take a big breath with a long spine first. And then start to fold forward to forearms if that feels right for you. Staying here about a minute on each side. Keeping your mind in the corners of your mat. Allowing your breath to fill your whole body with awareness, with energy. Next inhale, lift your head, straighten your arms, walk your right knee in, left knee back, and then drop over one hip, come onto your back, keeping your knees bent, feet on the floor, beautiful, from here, send your left leg right up to the ceiling, interlace your hands behind your thigh, Soften your shoulders to the floor. As we breathe here, really press out of your left heel. Open chest, soft shoulders, strong leg. to slide your hands up the back of your leg. Allow your shoulders to lift off the floor. Your hands might stop on your calf. They may come towards your ankle. Wherever feels right. Take three breaths here. Shoulders lifted, pressing out of your leg. 
looking towards your knee. And then begin to soften your shoulders. Keep your legs straight, but soft. Drawing your leg in towards your body a little bit more. Really patient. And release. Bend your left knee, place your foot on the floor. Extend your right leg straight up to the ceiling. Interlace your hands behind your right thigh. And breathe. Keep your shoulders and your jaw soft. Breath, start to slide your hands up the back of your leg towards your calf or your ankle. Let your shoulders lift and look towards your knee. Breathe here. Soften your shoulders, soften your leg, bring it with you closer to your chest. And release, bend your knees, bring both feet to the floor. From here, allow your knees to fall open like the pages of a book. Feet together, coming into reclined cobbler or reclined butterfly. Arms reach out to the side. Walk your shoulder blades a little bit closer together underneath your back. Allow your palms to face up. Start to center your breath. Direct it right into your belly. Just like our breaths at the beginning of class. First we fill the chest, then we fill the belly. Relaxing a little bit more with every exhale.
deeper breath in. Use your hands to guide your knees together and extend your legs long to the corners of your mat. Coming into final meditation in Shavasana. Your hands can be out at your sides or you might turn them palms down on your belly. Maybe one on your heart, one on your belly. Together, we're going to come through a few rounds of rhythmic breathing. Take a full inhale and a full exhale, emptying your lungs all the way, squeezing your belly button in. And together, we'll inhale for the count of six. Inhale one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold. And release, full breath in, full breath out. the last minute of class. If you'd like to stay in Shavasana, please feel free. If you'd like to come up to seated for our closing meditation, go ahead. Wherever you are with your eyes closed, allow yourself to take this last minute in stillness. centered in yourself. Just taking note of any little flashes of clarity that might have come to you throughout class. That might pop up now in our last few moments together. your heart. Take a big breath in. Send gratitude to yourself, to everyone else who's here. If you 
feel free to stay here longer or when you're ready and just softly flutter your eyes open. We hope that you move through the rest of your week and your month feeling grounded and re-centered. Thank you as always for being here and for having me. Alex, as always, thank you. It's, I love your classes, they're amazing. I like how they're low impact, so we can actually do them with you. Um, my my dog actually joined in the last little bit, so she liked it too, thank you. Oh. Um, so thank you everyone. If you need anything from the Cornwall Student Union, please feel free to reach out to us, this is what we do. Uh, we do small things like this for students, we do advocacy. So if you need us for anything, please feel free to uh, message Christina, Braden, Craig, or myself, and, and we're always going to be here for you. So until uh, we see you next time, stay healthy and stay safe, everyone. Bye.